Getting started with Python programming using Google App Engine. One of the biggest challenges when you're learning a new programming language is setting up the dev environment. If you're programming in Visual C Sharp, you've got to install all of Visual Studio or at least Visual Studio Express. If you want to do anything interesting, often you have to learn how to install those dependencies in order to get the rest of your code running. And working with the source code examples that are often presented, you may have to do a lot of extra steps to either set up a web server or get your environment ready to run. Plus, you've got to learn what's called the IDE or the developer environment so that you can learn how the text works, how the highlighting works, and how all of those pieces interact. That can be pretty daunting if the first thing you're trying to really do is just hello world, which is the reason that I started out with teaching visual, I'm sorry, yeah, Visual Basic Scripting, VBS. So in this lesson, we're going to work with Google App Engine's Python. Now, Google has made it very easy to install the App Engine environment because it's a portable app that conforms to the portableapps.com specification. So you can go out to code.google.com slash p slash app engine dash portable. From the downloads list, you're going to select the version that is for Windows, pre-compiled, ready to go, and click on its link. It will install, open, yes, we really wanted to run this, yes, we're going to accept. Yes, we're going to install. And then like the chefs on TV, I already have a version that's running. And this is the environment that you get. Now, it's a pretty simple looking environment. It tells you that it already has the guest book installed. And your choices are basically edit, deploy, run, and browse. So we're going to click on the edit button. And it's going to bring up a list of the files that are in that particular project. Now you've got an app.yaml that does your configuration. And then you've got the Python itself. And when you double click it, it opens in this fairly nice notepad program that's going to highlight your code by color. So all the comments are in this darkish, brownish, brick red color. And then, you know, standard highlighting, things in quotes are in green. Uh, functions are in purple or blue and so you know your code is nicely highlighted it handles the indenting it handles the little dots that you need to know which things are nested which is important because python actually cares about the white space on like most languages so it's a very nice editing environment and then because it has also put python on your system there's a run button i've already clicked run but by pushing run, your code will run and it will tell you what port it's going to run on. So it's running on port 8080. And when I hop over here to my browser, the guest book is running. And so it's localhost port 8080 and it says anonymous person wrote test app, app engine, blah, blah, blah. And we can put stuff in, we can push the button, the code will fire and it will do its thing. So in the time that we've watched the video or shot this video, we've gone from nothing to being able to run code that we edited. And so this is a great way to get started. And the guestbook application is pretty well documented and pretty straightforward and will allow you to make this little application that will go through and say an anonymous person wrote and it goes in reverse chronological order. So the newest stuff is on top, the oldest stuff goes to the bottom. And you can then, when you're finally ready, set up your app engine out at appspot.com so that and have your stuff deploy out to the cloud so you can get started with something that runs locally off of your machine is portable device you can take it on a thumb drive and will run but then will also allow you to deploy it to the cloud when you're ready to make it public for everybody and because it's google app engine it's infinite scale and you could basically start with hello world written off your thumb drive and build the next Facebook 
and never actually have to have had anything more than the development environment that you're working in here. Now, at some point, you're probably going to want a nicer Python editor. At some point, you're going to want to probably install a couple of the other tools, but you can make it all work from this little portable app that fits on a thumb drive and just plain works out of the box. So this is a great way to get started. Python is a pretty easy language to pick up. It does have some interesting things because it is aware of the white space. So it can be a little frustrating when you get started that if you don't have enough spaces at the right end, right start at the line, that your for next loops will break or your if thens will break. And there's a couple of other intricacies of Python that are a little weird. But as far as a language, it's a great language. It's well deployed, Google likes it. And because you can use it on App Engine, you can go from runs on your machine to infinite scale without having to skip any of the steps along the way. And the IDE was very easy to set up. So there you go. I'll start doing some Python tutorials on how to actually code, but now you know how to get it set up and you can play with the guestbook application that would at least let you play with, hey, I can change the text or those kinds of things.